All right, Virgo, getting ready to do your reading. All right, so universe, what does Virgo need to know at this time, Virgo? Okay. Wheel of Fortune, the Lovers, Three of Wands, the Chariot, and Nine of Cups. Okay, wow, under the deck is also the world. So definitely maybe something you have been waiting for is finally coming in and you're going to be very happy with the Nine of Cups, a wish fulfilled. You may be able to leave something in the past with the Chariot card. Um, maybe make a decision also with the Lovers card about this. So it can be love, definitely. Chariot's a sign of Cancer. Lovers is a sign of Gemini. All right, let's go back around though and see. Okay, eight of Wands in reverse. Eight of Coin. Hmm, the Hermit. Seven of Cups in reverse. Three of Swords. Under the deck, you have the Queen of Coin, which of course is you. Um, this could be relating to work. Let me look here. We have Hermit, which is also you, Virgo. So, so something's coming in that you've won with the Nine of Cups. It's something, you know, it is the Wish Fulfilled card, being very happy. So I don't know how big of a wish it is, but it's something that you wanted. Um, some of you may, may be buying a car also, but something makes you then after that, like you're examining something with the Hermit card, you're looking something over now, and, and Eight of Wands is you don't, you no longer want to move forward, and you're a little bit obviously with Three of Swords sad. But this way, then this could be a secondary story coming in. This way you are working with Eight of Coin, you are busy. And you know what you want with Seven of Cups in reverse. So it's almost like you may get two things in. One thing, maybe what you wanted, but it wasn't exactly, so you're a little bit disappointed. So let's, let's go forward one more time. Eight of Swords, though, in reverse. Temperance. Queen of Swords in reverse. The Hanged Man in reverse. And Ace of Swords upright which is a good card so again four of cups is under under the deck but it's in reverse so like if you don't so something comes in you wanted it but it wasn't what you expected and it didn't turn out the way you wanted now the queen of swords in reverse usually to me means someone who may be really like harsh um can be cruel sometimes to me in the reverse. Maybe overthinking things also. But this doesn't deter you, whatever this is. Like it keeps you, you still move forward with the hangman in reverse and the ace of swords. But because of this, to me it looks like it's an answer you've been waiting for. It may not have been exactly what you wanted, but it's going to free you with the eight of swords in reverse. It's something is not going to move forward. So it's like getting, finally getting the answer. It wasn't what you wanted, but you have closure. You can move on and not hang around and wait for something. You know what you want with Seven of Cups. You're no longer in the, you know, mindset of, I don't know what's going on. I don't understand. So it could be an offer that you don't, that you refuse. So let me go, let me do one more layer for you though, Virgo. <clears throat> Some of you, this may be a promotion you're waiting for, for a from a boss, and instead it was not exactly what you wanted. Um, it, the terms weren't good enough. So some of you may decide to leave a job or a relationship after you find out about this. Okay, Knight of Coin in reverse, Ten of Wands in reverse, the Page of Swords, yeah, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, so for some of you, this is love. So, see, you have that mixed energy of, hey, I finally know, I, now I know what they want, or I know the answer. I don't like it, but, hey, now I'm going to do what's best for me with the Five of Swords. I'm not going to put up with your crap anymore. 
you're going backwards, I'm going to go forward, you're going to dump this load. You could have been working on this with the Eight of Coin when it comes to relationships. Taking your time with temperance, putting up with someone, putting up with something. And to me, Page of Swords is that message of, hey, you know what? I don't want to work on this anymore. So this could be you saying, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm done. Goodbye. Could be someone else saying it to you also. So some of you are dealing with air signs, king or queens. They seem to be in reverse. They seem to, you know, they may have come out of hiding at, with the Virgo card. I'm sorry, the Hermit card. Um, and now they're finally telling you what they think or you guys are having a conversation. So you hear from someone. It's not what you were expecting. You're happy to hear from them, but it wasn't good. They're moving backwards. Um, and staying with them, you will also move backwards. So you may have the option to stay with them. But with this energy saying Knight of Coin in reverse, you know, Eight of Wands in reverse, it's not the best for you. But now you're realizing, hey, I don't want to, I don't want to stay stuck in this relationship. I know what I want with my cups. I'm not overwhelmed. I'm not confused. I'm not going to hang around anymore and wait for anything. I'm going to go find new love. I'm going to be happy. So you have two aces here, which are nice. So you have a nice reading because one, on one hand, it's going to give you some type of closure, some type of answer, whether this is legal or, you know, financial work or love. For a lot of you, this is love and you're going to dump this load and you have this, again, five of swords. You're kind of like, well, screw it within three of swords. Whatever they say is going to probably hurt a little bit, hurt your feelings, but you're going to say, you know what? At least I know I'm going to do what's best for me with the five of swords. I'm gone. So that's your reading, Virgo. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.